Hello friends, welcome back to the show. Today is Sunday, May 31st, and it is an absolutely beautiful day here in southeastern Pennsylvania. <clears throat> it's the kind of day that I had hoped we'd have all spring. We're having it the last day of May. I'll take it. <laughs> Blue skies, cool temperatures, mid to high 60s, nice breeze. Perfect day to uh, to get outside and do some, some fun stuff, which I'm going to do. But first, I'm going to talk to you about this tobacco, which is Yorktown, Cornell and Deals Yorktown. This is one of the three um, blends that I that I picked up from Cornell and Deal, just got samples of to, to try out, that I thought were sort of underestimated or sleeper blends in, in their catalog. I picked them just based on my own palate and, and the descriptions, um, thinking they might be things I could enjoy. And uh, last time I did Bradyville, this time I'm doing Yorktown, and next one is going to be Shelby Town or Ville. I think it was Shelby Town. Anyway, you'll find out next time. Um, but let me load up my pipe. I've got this. This is just an old favorite of mine, but a basket pipe. And I'll tell you a bit about Yorktown. So Yorktown is a very nice, uh, loose ribbon cut. And I know it's terrible. You can't really ever see anything when people do that. Loose ribbon cut. Um, it is described as being composed of stoved red Virginias and bright Virginias that are mixed together and then stoved. And then they add in uh, more uh, red Virginia. So it is, it, it's actually a surprisingly light looking blend. If, it, if it's got that amount of red Virginia in there. Sorry about that, the furnace delayed me lighting my pipe, which is really unfortunate. So here we go. I should have said that um, in terms of, of just sort of the general overall um, you know, packing and, and all that kind of stuff, that this tobacco behaves really well. It is dry, uh, as many Cornell and Deal blends are. Uh, I like them dry and I don't like paying for water, so I'm perfectly happy with that. Um, this one, you know, like I said, it's a ribbon cut, packs very well. Tamp that a bit. Uh, the pouch note I should have commented on as well. Sorry, this is not a well, uh, well thought out impressions here. But it's got the what you would expect from a straight Virginia. Yeah, mostly that that sort of hay field, a um, little bit of sweetness to it, but, but it's very very hay like. The real surprise tip for me, at least in this blend, is just how deep the flavor profile is and how sweet it is. Uh, they've done a really good job of bringing a, a straight Virginia to life here. It's uh, it, it it actually, even though it looks like it's a very bright um, mix. The reds really dominate in this. It's uh, it's got that sort of deep, almost caramel flavor to it. And there's just enough of that bright Virginia to add a little bit of citrus, a little bit of a little bit of tang, but not not to the point where it's um, overpowering. Because I I really don't like bright Virginias. You know, I've said many times that I'm I'm not a Virginia guy, but there are a few that I like, and, and one that I really enjoy is Union Square, uh, which is a GLP's blend. Uh, this is actually, in my mind, almost as good as Union Square. If what you're looking for is straight Virginia flavor. You know, there's there's... There's nothing else here, it is just Virginia, but it's a clean, pure Virginia. No, um, no topping, uh, no casing. 
Grand Island Deal cases, most of their not aromatics with uh, distilled water. So when I say no casing, there's always somebody that pops up and says, oh, everything's got to be cased because you can't handle the tobacco if it's dry. And yeah, so they spray with distilled water. But uh, none of that, you know, vinegary topping that uh, a lot of Virginias have. This is really quite nice. Um, this is definitely one that I would buy again. Uh, might even might even buy a significant amount of this to, to sell her because I'm guessing this is going to really age well. I I do find myself searching for some Perique, um, but that's just because you know that's that's my thing. Uh, it would probably be great with a little bit of added preak. I might actually try that with what I've got left here. Um, I'd probably spray it a little bit to, to, to wet it, uh, mix them, and uh, I probably wouldn't go to the trouble of pressing it, but just let it jar it up and let it sit for a month or so just to let the flavors melt. But boy, this is nice. I'm, I'm very impressed by this blend. So, Cornell and Deal Yorktown. If you're a Virginia lover, you should definitely try it. Um, if you're somebody like myself that just likes an occasional Virginia, it's a bargain. You know, it's available in bulk. Uh, it's worth you know, add an ounce to your next order and see if you like it. This is one I'm, I'm really, really happy. If, if this is the only blend out of the three that I picked that I ever order again, I'm happy that I found it. So, there's my impressions of Cornell and Deal Yorktown. I hope, uh, hope you found that worthwhile. Uh, other news here. So, <laughs> the reason I'm coming to you from this side of the shop rather than my typical uh, wood shop uh, area is that uh, my wife's laptop broke so that the hinges on the darn thing broke and I got new hinges, I got a new back display case and I thought I'd be able to get this done today got the whole thing apart, got the new hinges sort of semi-installed and I realized that it's missing a lot of screws so <laughs> I'm going to have to do something about that and I guess uh, well, I, I've ordered I've ordered a, a replacement set of screws. Problem is, I can't really put it back together. It's it's spread all over my workbench. So for the until the screws come in, which should be Tuesday, I'm not going to be able to use my workbench for anything else. Um, which is bad because my workbench is actually my uh, my office these days. So I guess on Monday and Tuesday, boy, poor me, I'm going to have to sit out in the backyard and uh, do my work uh, for eight hours probably have a few cigars while they do it. I, somebody noted in the, in the last <laughs> video that I made from over here that I, I'm looking away a lot and I apologize for that. I, I do do that and I think it's because of the distance to the camera in, in this setting. It's more noticeable. Uh, but I've just caught myself like three or four times. I'm doing it right now. And I'm not I'm just thinking, and I, I look away from I don't like looking at myself while I'm thinking. Uh, see the dumb, stunned expression? Uh, there we go. These uh, clipper lighters, I really love them. Um, but one thing that's worth noting, see if I can get this out to show you. Come on, there we go. So this, this is the striker, and there we go. This is the striker that sits down in there and pulls right out. And there's this plastic screw at the bottom that is attached to a spring and allows the, the flint to be kept under tension so that the striker works. Uh, it seems to me that every once in a while you just got to give that a little twist. It comes loose. And that will often help with that uh, that issue you just saw me having. It didn't feel at all loose this time, so I might be getting to the point where I'm going to need a new flint because it clearly has plenty of fluid or gas. And 
the, the nice one of the nice things about this it, it is really thoughtfully designed so your thumb never touches the striking wheel it's actually there's um, this so there's actually these two outer silver parts are where your thumb hits and then the striking wheel is in the center and that prevents the striking wheel from getting too gummed up as Zippo uh, wheels do it will still collect flint dust and, and over time it will need to be cleaned but not as much as the Zippo because your thumbs coming in direct contact with that and you're transferring oils and dirt and it's getting in the grooves so I, I just think they're very cleverly designed lighters and uh, I'm glad I got them. Well, I was not planning on talking about that. Anyway, see? <laughs> a lighter going on the fritz can actually lead to me advertising the self-same lighter. Interesting. I don't want to tie up too much more of your Sunday, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed the... Uh, I hate the word review. The impressions of Yorktown. Uh, really do recommend giving it a try. It's uh, excellent Virginia blend. Uh, beyond that, I'll try to make a video on Wednesday. We'll see how it goes. I'll definitely see you Friday night for the solo live stream at 8 p.m. Eastern. And I hope you've all had a great weekend and are looking forward to a wonderful week ahead. Take care of yourself and those close to you. And I look forward to talking to you all again very soon. Goodbye now.